Alright, so we're going to take a look at five tiles across. Okay? And we're looking at how do we figure out the formula to describe what's happening to our perimeter. Right? Okay. You with me? Okay. So when I have one row of tiles, what is my perimeter? See me. Twelve. Because we can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. When I add a second row, now what's my new perimeter? Emily. Fourteen. Fourteen. So if I count around, I would get 14. Now, here's my question. When I added my second row, what stayed the same? Something did not change. Alex? Uh, these sides, because they're still the same amount. Can you explain that? Yeah, because when you add another five, um, it's not doubling this five, but it's only adding on to these sides. So that's why you only add two. Okay. So because I'm covering up one side, aren't I? When I add that, do you guys see that? Yeah. Okay. So think about the animals of Romar that we studied last week and their growth. If these tiles were an animal from Romar, we could say that this group of tiles was born with a perimeter with 10, with these 10 that never change. Okay? This on the side does change, doesn't it? The perimeter does change but not the bottom and not the top. So every time I add a row, I'm always going to have um, those 10 to add. Okay? So let's look at what happens to our perimeter and our area when we graph it. Okay? Since we started out with 5, I'm going to make a graph for five tiles. Okay. But let's make a key real quick. We'll do the blue for perimeter Oops. and red for area. And then we can compare the two. Raise your hand if your group did five tiles. All right, so open up to your table for area. That's when you counted total number of tiles. Okay, so I always start at zero, zero, right? Okay, what happened when I had one row? How many total tiles did I have? Avery? Five. Five. Right about there. And I'm going to connect these as I go so they're nice and straight. When I had two rows, Nevea, how many total tiles? You had 14 centimeters. Oh, we're not doing perimeter. Dang it. Okay. I don't know. So I have one row of five. Oh, ten. Ten. Good. It was ten. Ten. Look at your table. What happens when I have three rows? Shake. Um, you have 15 rows. 15, 15 tiles. 15 tiles. That's my third row. Okay. Our graph right here tells us number of rows. So for four rows, how many total tiles would I have? Maddie? 20. All right. Do you notice anything? What do you notice? It keeps adding by five. If we're adding by the same amount every time, how would you describe the growth rate of this graph, Emma? Steady. 
Steady. So count by fives for me. What's next? 10, 10, 10, 25, 30. Hold on. 30, I'm not that quick. Gotta wait till I do it on the grass. Seven times five. Eight times five. Forty. Forty. Nine times five. Forty-five. Ah, there we go. Ten times five. Fifty. Fifty. All right. Okay, so how would you describe our graph for perimeter? I guess we just did this, but Alex. Steady. It's a steady rate. Very good. Now let's compare it to area. So, we just did area. Yeah. Oh, I did it backwards. <laughs> Man, all right. Just with the key. So red is perimeter. And blue is area. I think I just had the blue in my hand and didn't realize it. You got brainwashed. All right. Now, if I was going to turn this into my teacher, I would probably erase this or get a new piece of paper, right? Yeah. So I pencil first, kids. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now we're talking perimeter. So, once again, am I starting at zero? Yes. yes. Okay, those of you who did five, what was my perimeter for one row? Okay, Chase. Um, the first one is uh, 12. Okay. You want to keep reading them for me? Um, 12, 14, 16. Hold on. Oh. 16? 16. Ooh, interesting graph so far. Okay. Then what? 18. Okay. 20. 22. Um, and then 24. And then? 26. Thirty. All right. How would you describe our graph of the perimeter? How would you describe this one? Two people? Oh, okay. Brandon. Uh, It does grow at a slower rate. How did you know it was a slow, steady rate? Because it kept going the same rate. The same rate. Good. So you are going to say? Okay. How would you compare our area to the perimeter? What happens to the area, the blue area, as our perimeter increases? The area always adds up by five, and it's always going to be a steady rate. Okay. But if you go onto the perimeter, it's not a steady rate because if you look at the graph, it goes very steep up, and then it just stays pretty low and steady. Okay. What else? Alley, Ty, put that away. Alley, how would you describe this? Um, I would describe both graphs together as, um, well, the perimeter is um, obviously slower than the area altogether. Hi. And the area is much deeper than the perimeter. So after what you've discovered, what happens to the area as the perimeter gets bigger? Emma. The area gets bigger as the perimeter gets bigger. So as the perimeter grows and gets bigger, the area gets larger. Okay. 
Okay. All right, that's what I noticed too. Any other comments on this scrap? Nope.